Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm writer coach Tony and um, I'm making a third video for my four picks to win this year's French Open Women's Singles title. So I've already made three videos um, earlier aside from, sorry, sorry. Why are you moving? Okay, it's a bit unstable. Sorry. Um, so uh, before the, no, after the draws were released last Friday, I already made um, four videos to make my initial initial choices no, for, for my top four picks for um, this year's uh, French Open Women's Singles title. And uh, the, those four choices were Barbara Kachikova, Petra Kivitova, um, Belinda Bencic, and Caroline Garcia. But as of yesterday, all of them were eliminated. Caroline was the last one eliminated. She lost to Anna Blinkova of Russia. So <laughs> all of my picks lost. So my picks is not based on subjectivity. It's based on objective results. What I mean is it's based on the head-to-head, -head, the current head-to-head. -head. Um, and what I do is, for example, in each matchup, um, if they haven't met before, the player with the higher rank wins. If there's a tie, let's say one win is to one win, uh, the latest match, whoever won the latest uh, match wins wins no? because it's just head to head and then if there are multiple wins let's say seven is to five what i do is um uh, the player with with uh, uh the most wins between 2021 to 2023 uh gets the slot uh wins so that's how it works no so Okay, all those four players are out already. So we have um, three new players. They're not new, but they're also as equally as strong or even stronger. However, their head-to-head is not as good as the previous ones. So the new lineup is <clears throat> Iga Swiatek of Poland versus Ong Jabor of Tunisia. That's on paper. That's the top part of the draw. And in the lower part of the draw, it's Anastasia Potapova of Russia. And she's going to meet, she should meet uh, my pick for the fourth and bottom part of the lower draw. And uh, this part, okay, let's see. So Karen Garcia is out. So the women in the third round, these are officially the results. These are women who will compete for the third round are Anna Blinkova of Russia versus Elina Svitolina of Ukraine. Oops, what's happening? Why are you moving like that? And then we have, what's P Stearns? I don't know what P stands for. Peyton Stearns of the United States. She's a surprise third round player. Um, should meet that, I will meet, this is official. We'll meet Daria Kazakina of Russia. Sloane Stephens of the United States will meet Yulia Putinseva of Kazakhstan. And uh, another Russian player. I just want to know her name. Come on. Kamila Rakhimova. Kamila Rakhimova of Russia. Uh, we'll meet Arina Sabalenka of Russia, of Belarus. So that's officially the lineup for the third round for this part of the draw. So based on head to head, we will do head to head on the fourth round. So in the fourth round, you have sixteen players. Four of them will be coming from the bottom part of the lower draw, and based on head to head. It's going to be between Elina Svitolina of Ukraine and Daria Kasatkina of Russia in the upper part. While Yulia Potenseva of Kazakhstan will meet, should meet, Arina Sabalenka of Belarus. 
So these are the four female players on this side of the draw. For the quarterfinal, again, based on head-to-head -head only, we have Elina Spitolina of Ukraine and Arina Sabalenka of Belarus. And then, based on head-to-head, -head, uh, between Spitolina and Sabalenka, Sabalenka is my pick for this side of the draw. She now is a player with the strongest head-to-head. So this completes our semi-final lineup on paper. So on the upper part of the draw, it's um, Iga Swiatek versus Onjabur. And in the lower part of the draw, it's Anastasia Potapova of Russia and Arina Sabalenka of Belarus. So this is just on paper. For the final, it should be between Iga Swiatek, the number one seed, and Arina Sabalenka became the number two seed. So no surprises there everything everything falls into place if that really what if that is really what will happen so with that thank you very much for your time um please follow me on my twitter my instagram and my facebook the addresses are there and then also subscribe to my channel writer coach tony if in the next few days one of them one of the four women i've chosen is going to be eliminated at Suatek, Jabur, Potapova, and Sabalenka. If one of them gets eliminated, I have to make another video and update that part of the draw until we have finally chosen the four women uh, who will compete for the French Open Women's Singles title. And this time it's not based on head-to-head. -head. It's really the, what, what happens in real life. Okay, so thank you very much for your time. Catch you all later. Bye.